hey guys welcome back to my channel so this video is one that i have been trying to do for quite some time <laughs> but i swear between new launches new releases and just having to review other products for you guys has been a little bit hectic but i feel like i finally got here so I've been getting a lot of comments asking me, for some reason, they come in waves, uh, about my Ricky Loves Ricky mirror. And probably now makes sense because like the Nordstrom anniversary sale is uh, coming up and everybody raves about those like simple human mirrors. And so my this is my this is the Ricky Loves Ricky mirror that I have had for a very long time. Now, mine, my original one used to be iridescent. It was like a limited edition color exclusive to Nordstrom. And I actually ended up snagging it on sale. It was wonderful because I worked in a, my old house was very small. And so my space was very limited. I had no space for like box lights. I barely had space for a ring light. So I mainly relied on the fact that I filmed in directly in front of a window. And I had this Ricky Loves Ricky mirror that has these like little lights. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out the best way to position this, but it has these little lights on the edges and it has like three or four different settings and you can choose the brightness. So on gloomy days when it would rain, uh, I would turn this on and it would be perfect, especially when I was uh, filming like makeup tutorials and doing swatches because you really do need that light to be able to, for the camera to be able to pick up on the pigmentation and the shades of those colors. So served me well i had my mirror for four years and then i moved to this house i we hired movers but i my husband and i personally moved all of my makeup stuff i did not trust the movers with that i did not trust them moving my shoes my handbags nothing i moved all of that myself including my equipment including my mirrors or whatever fine perfect so i moved to this house and we i'm sitting down and i'm filming and i charge my mirror like normal and all of a sudden i hear this popping sound and i didn't know where it came from i just kept filming it was the weirdest thing this always remains propped on the side here because i also use it to like do my makeup uh, and look at myself while i'm filming uh, because my viewfinder is very tiny so i can't rely on that to be able to see if i'm like applying my mascara right or my blush correctly and so it always sits here it comes with a stand which is not very good because this stand um slides open so it's very hard to get it to stand where you want it to because these grippy things aren't that good but i would make it work for myself i would kind of like put something in the back to prevent it from sliding and so i sit down to start editing a video and whatever weeks pass by and then it's like a gloomy day and i'm like oh let me like turn on like my mirror and the mirror wasn't turning on and i was like oh maybe it's out of battery and when i took it out of the cradle i realized that the battery in the back had actually popped and that was that popping sound i heard the week prior i was like oh that's that's weird and so i emailed the company and although i purchased the mirror through nordstrom they were customer service was really good they uh just asked me to take a screenshot of my proof of purchase with nordstrom because i i had made that purchase through the app so i had proof that i had bought it and all i had to do was email it to them and they sent me a replacement immediately it was not my iridescent, it's not the same one, which I was a little bit bummed about. They just sent me their typical white one, which was fine, that's okay. I was grateful, great customer service. Like they did not give me a hassle about um, sending me the new mirror. Mir mirror works fine, whatever. Well, I continued to film and a few weeks after that, I hear another popping sound. Immediately, I pick up my mirror from the cradle. I'm like, oh, it's not, it's not this said 
Well, maybe it's just, you know, the house is creaking. Okay, so fast forward. I am looking for, I had bought the same version of this, but the handheld. It's called the Ricky Cutie Mirror. And I'm gonna be inserting B-roll throughout this video so you guys can see what these batteries look like when this happened. And so I grabbed this and I noticed that the box is open. So I popped the box open and when I popped the box open, Lo and behold, that popping sound I heard the week prior was the battery on the small one also popped. And I would use this a lot because it has the same light mechanism that the big one has. And it was very convenient for me to use while filming. It also had these, I'm trying to pop it out. It also had these finger holes that would slide in and out that was very convenient for me when I needed something a little bit more up close, a little bit more mobile than the bigger mirror. And I love my Ricky mirror because it had that magnetic situation for the, um, that magnetic round times 10 magnifying mirror that sometimes I needed when I was doing eyeliner or more detailed work on camera. Um, and I'm handling this with care because this battery is actually popped and that is a fire hazard. So I, so I don't, you know, don't want it to, I don't want anything else to happen. And so this mirror is also awesome because it has this in the back that pops out and you could even prop the mirror. And like I said, I got great use out of this mirror and I never contacted customer service even though this particular mirror was within the year warranty. So when this happened to this mirror, it was after what happened to this one. And although it was under full warranty and I could have gotten a, re a replacement for it, I decided not to do so because having batteries pop is a big hazard and I don't want to continue to use this mirror because of this situation like I don't want to continuously be afraid that at any moment if I'm not home or my daughter's running around or my dog or whatever this randomly pops in my beauty room and nobody knows and nobody is aware and it could potentially start a fire I don't want to live with that kind of worry. And so although I'm very grateful for the amazing customer service that this company has, I just think that they really need to revamp the whole battery situation uh, because I've actually heard from several people who have had this, the same thing has happened to them. So for that reason, I did not try to get a replacement for this one because I just don't want that worry. And I will be uh, getting rid of this because even if I give this to somebody, if that battery pops and it causes like a fire in their home, I don't want to be like, you get what I'm saying? I don't want to be the person who knew about this and then like gifted to the, give, gave it to them. And like, you know, I just, I want to be able to sleep at night, you know? <laughs> so this was a great, great mirror. And I think it's, whole design is actually beautiful it's sleek it's convenient but they need to fix the situation and maybe when they do i will get another one of these but for right now i have stopped using any mirrors from the ricky loves ricky and i won't be repurchasing anything from the brand with that said when this happened i i kind of was like you know asking around uh you know other content creators like what mirrors do you have what mirrors do you use and and i got a lot of responses of they had like the simple human mirror because uh, you know this this is like something people buy a lot during the uh, nordstrom anniversary sale and so i was like man but i don't want to drop that amount of money and and the north at that time the nordstrom anniversary sale was long gone so I happen to be a big fan of QVC and 
you know your phone hears everything you're talking about and I receive an email from QVC stating that they have the simple human mirrors on sale so immediately I go in there and I look at the sale price and I compare it to the sale price from the anniversary sale because I wanted to make sure I was getting a good deal for the mirror and it was actually priced just ten dollars more than what you would have gotten it at the anniversary sale if you would have purchased it during that time I got it in the rose gold I haven't even opened it because I wanted to unbox this with you guys and while I'm doing that I am gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just start opening this box so anyway I I order it from QVC I got free shipping and guys literally a week and a half after I purchased this through QVC I get another email from QVC stating that the price of this exact mirror was dropped even further by like I think it was 20 or $30, something ridiculous. And I called and I was like, hey, I just purchased this mirror and it's now discounted even further. Are you guys willing to price match? So the woman was like, absolutely. She went in there, she um, refunded me the difference of what the sale price was. So I literally ended up getting this, this mirror for significantly less then it would have been priced at the anniversary sale. So it was a no brainer for me and I decided to give it a try. And so inside your box is gonna say on the flap, see yourself in the best light. And then you have this little tab here that allows you to pull out the mirror. So as you can see, it's easy to pull out. I appreciate well thought out packaging. Nobody wants to struggle <laughs> when you're opening your tech, you know? And so on your strip here, it says tools for efficient living. Again, I have never used simple human anything. So if you guys own this mirror and you've had it for quite some time, please leave me a comment down below. I want to know if you really love it. Uh, any tips or tricks that you've been able to come up with, leave them to the comment down below for me. So it comes in this like recyclable uh, packaging and then you open the flap. And on the inside, you have your mirror. You get a little booklet, and with this booklet, you get a little cloth for you to clean your mirror. This has a little extra freebie that the Nordstrom mirror did not have, which is the magnifying mirror. And so you get this little black pouch that is cinchable at the top. And on the inside, you get a magnetic magnetic mirror, which is like times 10, and you get to like put it on the glass. So you have this little dust cloth, take it out. I'm not gonna peel this off because it's just gonna be a pain <laughs> trying to keep it from reflecting off. But um, I got the rose gold edition, and this is adjustable. This also, moves up and down it has a sturdy base so it's not going to be wobbling around the place and it is touch you also get a charging cube in the box that looks very similar to like the apple cubes and the this little then the prongs are retractable And then you have the insert right here. You have your cord to charge it. And then you just magnetize your mirror on there as you need it. Now, the only con is that it's not gonna magnetize anywhere but on the center. So essentially, you are able to, you have to choose whether you need to use a magnifying or you need to use a mirror. That is one feature I feel like they can improve on because with the Ricky Loves Ricky mirror, you could magnetize things in different areas where you still could use your mirror 
and use the magnifying one. You did not have to pick and choose. I chose the rose gold one because I found that uh, in my filming room, this was gonna be the color that was gonna be the most aesthetically pleasing with everything else I have going on all the other furniture I have in that room. And so I'm really excited uh, to try this mirror and use it out and use it because like I said, it has amazing, amazing reviews. So I will keep you guys posted on how this works, how I like it, is it worth it? Uh, because I do know that that Nordstrom anniversary sale is coming up. In the preview, I did not see this specific color listed this year in the sale, but we all know that when that sale drops, we're able, we're gonna be seeing a lot more stuff uh, popping up. So I wouldn't doubt it if this color pops up the day of the actual sale and you guys are able to snag it if you guys don't want the typical black and silver color. All right, you guys that completes this video leave me your questions and comments down below but this is my quick little update wear and tear on my ricky loves ricky mirror and a quick little unboxing for you of this simple human mirror as always you guys i thank you so much for your time if you like this video don't forget to give it a, a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe only other social platform I'm a part of is Instagram and I will leave my Instagram uh, name on the screen if you guys want to follow me there I really appreciate that as well all right you guys thank you so much for your time and see you next time bye